Vladimir Zhoga has become one of the first heroes of the new Russian-recognized Donetsk People's Republic, the DPR. To much of the rest of the world, he was a separatist, fighting Ukraine for control of its sovereign territory. For the several thousand mourners here, he was fighting for peace. Firstly, they are defenders of our land. They are for truth. They are for the fatherland. This is like the great patriotic war. I think this is my duty. This man gave his life for freedom and independence of our great republic. I had to come. He fights for us, for all of us, for peace. Zhogo was the commander of the DPR's elite Sparta battalion. His soldiers say he'd gone to rescue civilians from an apartment building in Volnavacha during what was supposed to be a humanitarian ceasefire on Saturday. But his unit got trapped in a firefight with what they called Ukrainian nationalists. Zhogo was shot. One of the people who will report this story across social media to the Russian public is a well-known and influential war reporter, Semyon Pegov. Those who fight civilians are terrorists. So for me, it's not a military operation, but a counter-terrorist operation. For me, the militants and neo-Nazis who practically control Ukraine now are the same as ISIL terrorists. The mourners are chanting, we will not forgive, we will not forget. Vladimir Putin has awarded Vladimir Zhoga posthumously the title Hero of Russia. It's the country's highest honor given for service to the Russian state and nation. Before the invasion of Ukraine, more than 14,000 people had died in the fighting to try and bring this region closer to Russia. Russian Donbass, that sign reads. Now most men have been drafted to the military. There's more death. It's hard to imagine how this region would be allowed to return to Ukrainian control. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Donetsk.